Now on most Android devices, taking a screenshot consists of pressing and holding both the power button and the volume down button at the same time. And so it takes the screenshot and it saves it. You can share it, you can send it to somebody. But this screenshot shortcut does not work everywhere. For example, I did a video earlier today about how to enable and disable double tap to wake on the Pixel and Pixel XL. And whenever you activate this double tap to wake screen, if you try to take a screenshot, it won't take a screenshot. It'll actually wake the device and it'll try to turn the volume down. And this isn't just me not pressing it at the right time. That gesture just does not work whenever this particular screen is up. So to get around this and to take a screenshot of this screen we can do that with ADB. So to do that, you'll of course you'll need to have USB drivers installed. You'll need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. If you aren't sure of how to do that or where to get these, check the link in the description below this video and I'll have a full tutorial that will walk you through all of that. So since we're messing with ADB, we're going to have to have developer mode enabled. And you need to enable USB debugging. Once you enable USB debugging, go ahead and connect the phone to the PC with the USB cable. And if this is your first time doing it, you might get a box that prop that pops up to that tells you hey you have USB debugging enabled and you've connected it to a PC do you want to allow USB debugging access to this phone from the PC that you're connected to so you can see we have USB debugging connected Once the phone is connected to PC, we're going to need to start the ADB service. And we'll just do that with the ADB space devices command. If you don't have the ADB service started, it will say starting the ADB service. Since I've already done that and I have a phone connected, we have our device listed. So from here we just need to type out or paste the command for the screenshot. And that command is adb space shell space screen cap space dash p space forward slash sd card forward slash screen dot png. Now this part is required and it needs to be done like that. This last bit can be changed to any directory on your phone that is accessible without root access. And it's just recommended that you save this to the SD card and then name it. You can change the name to whatever you want. And once you have that command typed out, all you need to do is press enter on the keyboard to take a screenshot. Once you press enter, you'll see a pause for a second on the in the command prompt. And just to show you that it took a screenshot, you can see it right there. 
can to show you that it works in places that the usual screenshot shortcut does not work. Remember I showed you before the power volume down gesture did not work here. But once I tap that and press enter on the keyboard, it saves that screenshot. And again, just to show you, since we kept the same name, it overwrote the last one that I had. And there's our new screenshot. So that's how to capture a screenshot on an Android device using ADB.